Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Risk of Rain Returns. We are jumping in again and this time we're going to go as good old Commando. Uh, we'll jump in with this skin. I think this is pretty good. We're just going to jump straight into a run see what we can get done. Our first episode, we got insanely lucky. And I, I, I just, I don't even know what to say about how lucky we got. It's kind of mental. Um, we just had the best luck with legendaries. So it was really, really awesome to see and hopefully... We can continue that forward into this run and get a bunch of legendaries on this run as well. This character seems a bit more versatile than the Huntress, uh, but I don't know if they're going to be quite as good as taking care of crowds, so we'll see about that. Uh, we got our money. We're definitely going to buy the Crowbar, which is more damage to full health enemies. Um, really, really nice, uh, especially with like attacks like our Big Blast, our right click. Because it means we're going to be able to one-shot some enemies. Uh, also, the more crowbars we stack up, the better they're going to do for us. So, we'll hope that we can get a few of those going. Awesome. And we get ourselves an active item. Yes, okay. We get ourselves the fruit, which is honestly pretty useful for us. Unfortunately, as this character, we can't uh, walk and fire behind us. Like we, like we could with a Huntress, which is a real shame because that was a genuinely very, very good ability. Like, I really liked having that ability as the Huntress, so it's definitely going to be a little bit of a shame to see that go. I do wish it had just like, I'm trying to shoot behind me and walk through the way and yeah, it, it's, it's a little, it's a little bit difficult to get used to, but we'll get used to it. We'll get there. We'll see what we can get for our next bit of kit here. I'll stick on the ground floor for now. But yeah, having our fruit available to just give us a quick heal, a quick top up when you need it, is going to be really, really nice. Lovely. I almost pushed that guy straight off. I don't know if enemies can take fall damage, but I imagine they can. Okay, there's our chest. We got ourselves gasoline. Lovely. Oop, actually, let's uh, do that again and make our way over here. Get out of here, fellas. I think that little noise, that little dink noise is our crowbar. And there's our gasoline popping off as well. We get ourselves attack faster at lower HP. That's not obviously super ideal, but it's fine. And we'll keep moving this way. I think the first floor is kind of... You've got to make sure to full clear and get everything you possibly can. It just seems a lot more worthwhile. Here we've got one little fire boy down here. Hey, here's a chest. You can hear that like ding, 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 ding noise. I think that signifies um, that Kuroba is in effect. Gain gold over time. While not amazing, it's somewhat useful, so I'll be reasonably okay with it. We've got another one of these. These these shrines seem to be pretty good. Seems to be pretty easy to kill the imps. I'm wondering where the hell the rest of the enemies are right now. But yeah, we're doing quite a lot of damage. I think it's anything above 80% HP. Nice. Very easy. Oh, I can, I can just do it again, I see. This is a piece of piss. <laughs> uh, chance to bleed on hit, lovely. What's that normally called? That's not enough rusty knife in Risk of Rain 2, is it? But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this game, watching it, and uh, hopefully some of you guys are uh, playing it and enjoying it as well. Lovely. Right. Quickly go down this way, actually, see if there's anything over here. I'd like the ability to add more rolls, that'd be nice. But yeah, bleed on hit's gonna be really good, especially if we can stack that a little bit and make the bleed even more potent. Right, much else over here. We've not seen the teleport yet either, so that's something we've got to look out for. Okay, we must be reaching the edge of the map soon. Nothing up on the castle, we've got to take a little leap here. There you go. Hey, so here's our teleporter. We got this for 25 HP. Hey, it's another one of these guys. Nice. I'm happy to have this guy on board. Ooh, that's really good with the bleed, the extra shots there, right. Just gonna check one last thing here. One last area. And then we'll uh we'll do the boss. I think with there's a there's an above area we haven't checked yet that. I'm sure there's a few bits and bobs in that we can grab. All the way up here. There you go, there's a chest, look. We get ourselves 
how, move faster out of combat. That's honestly so amazing. Like that, that movement speed is huge. And we've got whatever this is here. Oh, it's just a drone that's like mixing with the scenery. I'm not exactly sure how I get to this uh, this item down here. It makes noise when I get near it though. And moving faster out of combat is very, very nice. Um, we'll take random here. And we get heal after kills. Lovely, lovely. There it is. I got it. I got it. Find the item's hidden power somewhere and unlock it. Wait. Um. Hmm. Okay. I was going to say, am I stuck in here? No, luckily I'm not. Right, I think that's everything, but I'll do another preliminary check. Just to make sure. I think I've seen everything I need to see on this floor. Yeah, it looks like it. Let's head over towards our boss. Once we get our movement speed out of combat, we're kind of steamrolling through. All the enemies are just stacked up here. Gasoline does a lot of extra damage when it explodes. Another level up there. With the roll as well, that speed plus the roll is really nice. I very much enjoy. Alright, teleport, let's go. Got Magma Web. Magma Web seems to be one of the harder ones so far. Sounds like not taking a lot of damage. Remember, I've got my fruit. I use my fruit there. Okay, I'm struggling now. Uh, I'm have to drop down here. At least I'm getting mad fire rate for this. Dude, the magma worm is so hard to dodge. Monster Tooth, please keep me going. Magma Worm, goddamn, you're tricky. Hey, we get the Burning Witness again, that's good. We get our Healing Drone back, or... I don't know if we got a back or that was a new one, I'm not sure. Get us the hell out of here, goddamn, that was a tricky one. That was a tricky one, this character might be a little harder than the Huntress. Our starting damage isn't quite as good. <clears throat> but... Honestly, the whip is going to be an item that I'm looking for constantly now. Got a chest right there already. I'm really hoping we can stack some more bleeds, you know. I think bleeds going to be really powerful. There you go, chest already. Uh, gain increased crit chance uh, failing after failing shrines. Okay. This fire on the floor plus gasoline is uh, a pretty good mixture. Nice. Beautiful jump. Finally got an active item. I need to reveal these guys. We got ourselves. Hey, this is very, very nice. I say that the fruit's good, but being able to unlock everything seems so much better to me. So much better. Realistically, we want to use it in an area that has, like, multiple chests, though. Like, this one chest isn't really worth it. Stop shooting the wrong way, you goon. I find it really hard as, as uh, this guy to, to actually aim in the right direction. Like, what the hell happened then? I was, like, firing in two different directions. 
more of that dice. It's because maybe it's because I'm on uh, mouse controls. You don't have to be on mouse controls. It's not like mandatory with this game. I just basically you're you're allowed to set it to risk of rain two controls if you wanted to. And I thought, well, that's what I'm comfortable with, so that's what I'll go for. What the hell's healing all of these guys? There's a champion in there that's like healing all of them. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. Gonna be honest, I think Commando kind of sucks. <laughs> well, let's try another run and see, shall we? But I'm not not a fan of Commando so far. Like, Huntress seemed far, far stronger. Okay, we got a big chest off the bat. That's nice to see. Like, look at this damage. It's, it's, it's really bad. I need some, something beefy to keep me going here. Because, yeah, the damage is just not it right now. He looks pretty awesome. Right. Where are the enemies at? No enemies spawning today? Come on, enemies, where you at? What the hell's this? I want to stay near this big chest so I don't have to run all the way back to it, but... Okay, we'll be up, up to 50 after this guy. Maybe I just need to use my role more strategically as this guy. Give us a legendary, you know you want to. Damn it. Oh, yes. Ukulele, the Very nice. That's some good AoE. Basically, every now and again, when we fire at enemies, there'll be an electric spark between them. It's very strong. It's also like a flagship item of this game. Alright. Doesn't really do much to single targets, though, as you can clearly see. Didn't want to do that game. This whole fall damage business, gotta go. Hopefully there'll be mods for this game as well, because, yeah, I'd definitely be down for a mod to reduce or remove fall damage. I get that it's part of the game, but it just makes traversal, especially when you don't really know the game very well, a lot more tricky. Got another big chest here. Still no enemies, though. Where are all the enemies at today? There you go. Attack, that, that was actually pretty good last time. It, it increased your attack speed by quite a margin. Yeah, I can find this so hard. Like, we had the cluster bomb before, which I think was really good for, like, this AoE sort of business. Now I'm finding it really difficult to deal with a lot of enemies like that. At least we get this crazy bonus fire rate. Good stuff. Nope, can't make that. Right, more chests, please. More chests. Give me that drone. Where are the chests at? I like they were the same enemies spawn in sort of waves. Damn, I can't even get up there. Okay. Keep going, keep going. I guess I'll check up this way first. That's a bit of healing, at least. Damn. Chests have been rough, this one. We've got two items, so far. I mean, they're both green quality items, which is good, at least, but... We need a little more. 
Many things that aren't just active when I'm nearly dead. Another chance shrine. That's fine, but I want chests that I can open, please. There's one. Topaz brooch, pretty good. Another big chest. We got ourselves leeching seed, very, very nice. And enemies drop extra gold. Okay, it's all probably pretty good for us. Good old leeching seed. Right. I guess we'll uh, pop this a few times. Retaliate on heavy damage. Okay, this thing's kind of screwing us at the minute. I'll go to the other chance shrine then, I guess. Don't want none of your chance shrines. I like the way the Topaz brooch looks when it's active. Can I remember where the other one was? There it is. <gasps> There's one of these over here. Can I can I make that? How the hell am I meant to get up there? God damn it. I don't think I can get to that. <laughs> no, I can't. That's, that's annoying. Dude, is that a chest that I can't get to as well? This is... This is some shit. <laughs> I can't I can't get half the stuff on this goddamn stage. Right, anyways. Enough dwelling. Increased jump height, that's very, very nice. Crowbar is obviously really good as well. Right, we might be able to get this now that we've got increased jump height and reduced gravity. Let's see. Doesn't seem to be an awful, yeah, an awful lot of increased jump height and reduced gravity, I'll be honest. Fuck! Ah, you've got to be serious! Oh. This is ridiculously annoying. <laughs> they shouldn't be able to put stuff completely out of your reach. I'm sure it was like that in the original game as well, but ugh, feels bad, man. I don't know where I'm going now, I can't remember. Ow, there we go, that's where I'm going. I did just lose a lot of HP though, so this might not be the best idea to do. <laughs> Wandering Vagrant. I don't know how, how difficult the Wandering Vagrant is in terms of the bosses stacking up, because in vanilla, well, vanilla, I keep calling it vanilla, in um, Risk of Rain 2, it's like the easiest boss by far, but in this one, because of the um, the way that the 2D and 2D-ness of the game is, I can't imagine it being that easy. Also, yeah, I'm finding it really difficult, the fact that I don't have healing right now. I don't have an active this time around either, which is certainly not helping. Dude, I'm going to die to this Vagrant here. Gotta be honest, people. I think Commander sucks big booty. Yeah, we're dead. Commander is terrible. Um, let's, let's try and figure out how we unlock some of the other characters, because I don't want to ever play him ever again. <laughs> or at least I want to unlock some of his other, um, 25 stages. Defeat 3,000 enemies. Collect 300 items. Okay. Right, how do we unlock some of these? Kill the Magma Worm, uh, one Vagrant and Colossus. Beat the third stage. Find the Robot Janitor. De purchase 40 drones total. Clear a path for the survivor. Beat the game. Free the chained creature, beat the game five times, 30 unique items in one playthrough, obtain meat nugget, bustling fungus, sprouting egg, bit of root, and foreign fruit in one run, 15 monster logs, 10 unique stages, and recycle six drones. Okay, that's not too bad. We'll jump in for another run as the Huntress though. I'll be honest, I probably won't play the Commando again for a little while. Um, I want to try and unlock some new stuff, but Commando just seems just, just bad. <laughs> 
Maybe, maybe you guys can give me some tips on where I'm going wrong. Also, there seems to be a new first stage, which is awesome. Um, yeah, maybe you guys can give me some tips on where I'm going wrong with him, but so far his kit seems pretty underwhelming. We got like piercing and bouncing and bombs and all this sort of stuff. Damage wise, we seem to have a lot more options here. Oh, bugger. Didn't think I'd fall down that. Like, look at that damage we just did to this guy. Some distance damage on you. Now come in for a few bites. And also as well, like, the fact that we can just fire while running. But the back and forth is super, super nice. Beautiful stuff. Right, where's our chest set? There's a 50 bagger chest. Lovely. And we get ourselves falling to low health stops time. It's nice, but it's not super useful early. We've got one of these over here. Don't just fire at the closest enemy game. It's annoying. Fire at the enemy I'm shooting at. Well, we've got two of these. Nice. Stop firing at the closest enemy! Ugh, my god. The fact that it just automatically decides for you to fire at the closest enemy is annoying. I wonder if I can change that. Controls. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. General. There was a control scheme thing I, I selected at the start. Maybe I can change that. I don't know. Anyways, I'll leave it for now. Good, good. We've got so many, like, chests and stuff this time around. Bit of ATG missile launcher doing its thing. It's like the easiest items you can possibly get to ace. Monster Tooth is great as well. Don't know how I'm going to get that log at the moment. Probably not going to. That's the that's the solution to that. Boy, where some enemies at? I seem to, whenever I say where the enemies at, they all start spawning on me. So I'm hoping that by saying that, I'll summon some. Where the enemies at? Come on. Okay, there's a, a jelly boy. Few more of the jelly boys over here. We got enough of the big chest. Make our way back to that. Boom, 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 boom. Oops, wrong way. And you will be worth a lot, so I'll kill you as well. Lovely. Right, here's our big chest at least. And we got, oh ho ho, Will of the Wisp. Beautiful. Beautiful Will of the Wisp. Not quite enough for another go. I'm liking ATG Missile Launcher, it's doing well. You're dead. Damn it. Got unlucky on the shrines. Right, what are we doing now? What are we doing now? We can pop this again. Stop firing at enemies that are close! It's not the one. Mm -hmm. Not what I want you to do at all. Oh, -ho -ho, extra chance for detonation. Yes, please. I think we should just take what we've got and, and be okay with it and leave.
Cool. Right, let's see how this goes. Magma Worm again. That did a lot of damage, holy shit. I wonder what the bells thing is. Okay, that... Yeah, we just do so much more damage as this character. Chance to tether yourself to an enemy. Okay, I think that heals us when we do that, so that's kind of nice. Good, good, good. One second. All right, let's keep this going. I haven't got too long to, to wait now. But yeah, we're just absolutely memeing on everything right now. <laughs> the damage we output is so much higher. I like this tether thing. It's a cool legendary. That's definitely new. New to me, at least. I'm liking that, the fact that we got Will of the Wisps. Does it tell us what our chances are? No, it doesn't. I'm guessing there'll be a mod for that eventually. Chances for the explosion. Only 10 more seconds. Boom. Now, where we go? I'm liking the fact that I got the rockets as well, the fireworks. It's kind of nice. Am I all the way at the edge of the map here? Yes, I am. Okay. That's kind of good, actually, starting at the very edge of the map. It means I can just explore in sort of one direction. Hey, we got a big chest already. Nice. I'm going to kill this guy. I like the way the enemies are different per stage, even if, if they're the same enemy. And some different visuals. It's really nice. How much is that one? It's quite a lot, right? Hello, jellyfish. I tether to you and steal your HP. Oh shit, we got these big boys. I remember these fucks. Okay. We're all good. Big chest. Yes! Ukulele. We got some AoE going on right now. We got some AoE going on right now. Finally got ourselves an active as well if we can uh, hold off here. Got another logbook just up here as well, I see. Hopefully now that we're on this stage, the spawn should be a lot quicker as well. chest there. We've got two chests, actually. Okay, we've got a lot of chests to go for here. I'm liking these dudes. They look cool. What the hell is that? They're all a bouncing brain. Does it bounce for long? Because I didn't see it. <laughs> I didn't see it do its bouncing. Okay, we've got a lot of enemies now. This is good. But we're just wrecking through them. Oh, we've got a big boy. I'm falling. Let me do some extra damage. Let's take out this big boy. Easy. We've got a ton more money. Where's that other chest? There it is. Bing, bing, bong. Purpose brooch again. I just keep hearing these bells chime. I don't know what that fruit does. I'm going to take it anyways. Oh, okay. He does... He's a champion and does a... A lot of damage. Okay. This is scary. This is very scary. That bouncing brain seems to do a lot. Okay. Let's, um... Let's, for a hot second, just chill out, game. I'm going to take another active, because this bouncing brain seems a bit duty. Let's try and kill some stuff and get some HP, shall we? Oh, 
Okay, cool. What was this fruit item I got? Rapidly heal outside of danger. Okay, that's good stuff. Okay, the tethering doesn't seem to heal. I thought it was a healing tether, but maybe it's not. Alright, keep moving this way. Ooh, another big chest. Lovely. Another will of the wisp. Okay, we are stacked on ter on terms in terms of that. Oh, 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 oh. Like that. I like that a lot. I'll try this out, see what we get. Drop and detonate 50% of your money. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no, no, no. Cool, but for this run, ain't my bag. Damn it. I think we've seen pretty much everything we can see this floor. Got Ancient Wisp. I don't even know where he is. Okay. It's a bit tricky. Right, where's this ancient wisp boy? All the way over here, that's where. I'm not sure how difficult this guy is. That was good. Doesn't seem to do a whole lot of damage, this Ancient Wisp guy. There yeah, we got him. Oh, we got Ceremonial Dagger again. Let's go. Although my health is... No! Why does this keep happening? The sl the stopping time thing fucked with me so hard. I thought I died. <laughs> so I just stopped and I was like, oh, I'm not dead. And then I instantly died the moment I realized. Ceremonial Dagger, why? Oh, my God. My God. Okay, um, let's leave this one there, and then we'll boot up another episode and see if we can try and actually make our way through. We're having a good time, though. We are making our way slowly but surely. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.